Boy. So, we ended the last episode off with me talking about the whole Aubrey thing. <laughs> You're still thing. on this. Yes, but there's a reason why. And it's because I cannot... I, like, I have a hard time accepting any type of... Someone uh, of, like, fan base that uses a, like, a name and then calls it a nickname. I have had to deal with way too many people looking at Harry Potter and thinking Harry has to be a nickname. Like, it isn't a perfectly normal name. And the fact that whenever they, like, expand it to be a full name, they do they use a name like Hadrian or something like that. Which makes no sense when another perfectly normal name is right there. Harrison. Yeah, that would have made sense. Uh-oh. It feels like you're stretching for something that's not there. Hmm. Keep in mind, Aberdeen's only implied to be canon. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I, I can understand it with, like, the implication there. But it, it always strikes me as, uh, you are way, trying way too hard with your with your fandom BS whenever I see c- characters' names being, like, forced out to be full names that, that, are, that aren't, like, actually there. Yeah. Well... I don't know. It's one tweet from the games creator themselves. So. Yeah, that, that's... Oh, I, was, I, I just got sent the tweet. Yeah, like, you, you can ex- I can accept that part. I'm just saying why I have so much of an issue with it. This is yeah. But, like, seriously, why was the Harry Potter fandom so obsessive with, like, changing Harry's name to be anything but Harry? You realize you're questioning the Harry Potter fandom. I can question them. They're the ones that are in charge of the fandom now because I refuse to acknowledge J.K. Rowling as a worthwhile human being. That is true. I've seen people boycott the new game just because because of, like, J.K. Rowling's stuff. Yeah. As someone who does not care for Harry Potter, I say, go do what you want to do. Don't get I'm not boycotting it because of that. I'm not buying it because I, one, don't have too much money. So I have to choose what I want. Seventy dollar game. Uh, and two, I honestly could care less about Harry Potter video games. Yeah. I have the perfect Harry Potter video game. It's called Lego Harry Potter. Huh. I don't need more. I have that on Switch. Same. Yeah. It crashes a lot. <laughs> Does it? For me, yeah. Damn. Okay. Oh. Okay. I get. But like, in the, it's like. I have been around way too many fandoms to, like, happily accept shit like that because it feels way too much like fanfiction bullshit. Yeah. I will talk about this more once I'm done with my chicken burger. Uh, shit, what kind of angry? Sad. No. Happy counter to angry. Fuck. It's a good thing I, I favorited that emotion chart. Happy counters, angry. Um. Probably restore juice to Amori. Hell, can we do that? Right to fight. Hmm. I remembered in the original comics that Amori was based off of. Same creator. It was always meant to be a video game, but the comics came first for whatever reason. Uh, in the original comics, Amori... Really the pipe? Yeah. In the original comics, I remembered Amori was a porn addict. <laughs> so, I uh, take that as you want. Pretty sure we ended our, la- our episode from last week, though. Like... With that implication. Yeah, he, he has a laptop, and not, not too far by is a box of tissues. I mean, that was literally my first assumption, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> You're not wrong. Like, my first assumption when I see when I saw white space was... Okay. I see the box of tissues right there, and there's a computer. Yeah. 
Um, and I remember the fact that this was a game about depression and a shut in. I was like, yeah, I can see where this is going. Freaking. What's the name? Oh, Kel's dead. Okay, um. So, someone joked to me that, uh, secretly Sonny is resisting the urge to ask Aubrey to step on him. In the real world. Shit, I'm pretty sure I, I was thinking that same thing. <laughs> he would. He wasn't such a social outcast. Hmm. Here is Kel's, um. Now I get rid of the Sprout World. The Sprout Mole first because if that thing eats the Sprout Mole, then it heals. Damn it. Okay. Um. Ooh, I do not have life jam. That's. Well, it's a good thing we saved. That is true. Not three. Let's um heal up a, a Mori guy. Hmm. Do you think a Mori has a trait that allows him to like withstand with one point of health? Mm -hmm. so, let's do a hack away and let's just. Make him second tier happy. Fast enough. Never mind. Hmm. Just gotta survive. Definitely use that attack again. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, five. Sprout mole masks and learn lucky slice. Sprout mole masks, huh? We really ripped off ripped the faces off of corpses. I should probably go back and restore my energy stuff. Or anything, because we. It also saved, so I, don't, so I don't have to fight that again. Yeah. Ugh. A single block of tofu. Oh, so relieved you finally showed up. This full of force, full of creepy crawlies, it's sure giving me the heebie jeebies. Not to mention, I keep getting scared in front of my head. It seems like it could be something potentially dangerous, so you should all probably rest up. I've always liked your smile. Oh, it tosses your love. Pretty sure we can go back to that uh, life jam guy, right? Be good. Or I'm, I think this guy sells life jam. It can also just be randomly found. <laughs> yep, there we go. Let's get a. Four. Um, you say tomato, I say tomato. Popcorn. Since this heals are all, I'll take a couple. So there is a bunch of dead sprout moles here. Mm -hmm. And we did see a castle. Very pink castle. Going down. Hey, what are you doing here? Sprout Mole Village. Oh boy. This is gonna be. Table full of merchandise of an obnoxious looking person. Oh boy. You know what that means. Yeah, some juicy tomatoes. I actually don't like tomatoes. 
My dad grows them, though. Don't look at me. You know how I feel about vegetables. Mm. These sprout molds are such funny little creatures. I just want to pick one up and squish it. Did you know? Sprout molds really love tofu. I bought some tofu at a tofu stand earlier. Feel free to try some. They heal one heart. Hey, you there. You creatures seem like little seasoned travelers. Could you help me out? My brother lives in the sprout mold colony on Otherworld. I want to send him to Terror Cottage, but I'm afraid of getting lost. Would you be able to deliver this for me? I'm sure I'll appreciate it. Make sure it gets to him safely. I mean, yeah, you, you can just go through the ride. I could. Well, I'll explore this area first. And I can always do, do it during the downtime between which storage events. I cannot be disturbed right now. No humans allowed. This room is for sprout moles only. How dare you speak such blasphemy? It is only common knowledge that tofu is better when served hot. Are you mad? Hey, sprout full with teeth and says knows that tofu is served better when cold. Hey, there's no need to fight. Why don't you get some to a compromise? Who knows? Maybe you're both right. Maybe you can take tofu in a way that hasn't been done yet. Somewhere between hot and cold, like... I don't know. Lukewarm? Ew! Lukewarm tofu? That's the worst idea I've ever heard. Even <laughs> cold tofu is better than that. Lukewarm tofu? I want to throw up. Even hot tofu is better than that. Came to an agreement. Okay. I can understand where they're coming from. That's how I feel about lukewarm water. Since tofu is high in soy content, it's not good for you if you have kidney stars. I don't want to need a tofu trivia. How's it going, guys? This wall is nice and cold. Pretty good. I have no idea what I'm doing! <laughs> Despite all my rage, I'm still just a mole in a cage. Do you think we'll still be friends after we graduate? Hey, let me just nice reference, by the way. Ha! Nice. Man. Old guy. Oh, yeah, they got an Android for boyfriend for Friday Night Funkin'. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Honestly, it looks pretty good. Huh. Which sounds weird considering how boyfriend probably shouldn't translate well to 3D. Yeah. Like, let me see if I can find it for you. Oh, fuck. Uh, can I, can I escape? Root. Uh, there we go. Mari, where are you at? Up there. Alright, oh, there's an anvil up there, I just... Say, uh, get, uh, get, uh, get, uh, sit, uh, healed. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, that killed it. That entire fight is optional. What do you know? Like, completely and totally optional. Oh, that for missing life can? I was gonna run up to where Mari was and use the heal food. I get the feeling it was meant to be a test for sprout moles. Yes. There's like I see like an old old uh, sprout mole there. Maybe it's like a test of like, do you try fighting hard or do you try try fighting smart? Hmm. Or do you try? <laughs> Ooh. You and your friends feel like. Ah, hello, strange looking sprout moles. Are you here to see Sweetheart's quest for hearts? If so, you've come to the right place. This sold out of is spectacular starting very shortly. Wait a second, I know this show. We have front row show tickets for it. I can see it now. A dazzling epic tale about the hardships of romance. Heartbreak, betrayal, desperation, loneliness. Oh, the drama. This is going to be so fun. I can't wait to be swept off my feet. I don't know, I guess it looks interesting, but now doesn't seem like the right time. Ah, yeah, looks good. They even got his, uh, yeah. <laughs> his expression of, of like, defeat. Yeah. But, but you promised we could earlier. Please, hero, we should at least check it out. Please, 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 please. Well, alright. Doing oh. some sick and, uh, arrow accessories, too. Yeah. Hopefully this won't take too long. If I may have your show tickets, please. Yes, of course, Mr. Falconel, sir. We have our tickets right here. Well, funnily enough, Boyward's one of the few characters who translates perfectly to Nendoroids. Huh. Because he's already kind of chippy. Yeah. These are front row tickets. You... You almost have, you almost have made some great sacrifices to be here today. We took it off dead sprouts. Forgive me for calling you strange looking earlier. At second glance, you four are the most normal looking sprouts I've ever seen. 
Please enjoy your front row seats, fellow normal looking sprout moles. Did that really work? Yeah. Well, here we are. So why are sprout moles obsessed with this, with this chick? Everyone's obsessed with this chick. She's an idol! And a celebrity! And she's also obsessed with herself. So, a celebrity. Yeah. Wow, look at this huge <laughs> stage! It's just as amazing! Let's take our seats! Looks like the show's about to start. Here it goes. You did remember to save first, right? I did. But don't worry, there's an opportunity to save it. And... It Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a special episode of Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts. Before we our show, we want to take a moment to honor the life of someone who's been an inspiration to us all. Our beloved leader, the old Sprout. Hey, didn't we murder you? He was truly the father that none of us deserved. Let us have a moment of silence in memory of him. Oh yeah, he wasn't he like the boss of yeah. Basil's house? Yeah, Blocking Basil's house. May he rest in peace. <laughs> um, yeah, about that. <clears throat> Don't say anything about the political assassination of ye old sprout. Yeah. And now, on to the show! Clearly it was all masterminded by Kel. Yes. And definitely not Amori, who is definitely yes. not the secret mastermind behind the political turmoil with the, with the mole sprouts. Last time on Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts, our favorite princess, once again, failed to fall in love with any of our eligible bachelors. This time, we rounded up three new, very attractive contestants. Will one of them be able to capture his sweetheart's heart? Let's reveal them now. It's gonna be everyone but Opry. <laughs> Contestant number one, uh, the local Sprout Mole Village. That's a joke. He's coming in at three feet tall with favorite food is tofu. He has a huge collection of plastic flamingos and enjoys long walks through narrow tunnels. Give it up for Contestant number one! <laughs> Calling it now, two and three are exactly the same. Contestant number two is, yup, you guess it, a, also a local Sprout Mole Village. Garibald always coming in hot at three foot feet and one whole inch. His hobbies include walking, running, and crawling. His favorite color's combination is brown and green. He spends his weekends rolling around in dirty laundry. Mmm, spicy. Give it up for contestant number two! I'm trying to see if, there, if there's any actual slight height difference between these two. And, and now for something <laughs> completely different! Contestant number three comes all the way from Otherworld. It's like he ju just fell out of the sky. Literally. According to him and us, that makes him a catch. Give it up for Snaily! Racist assholes. <laughs> yeah, racist. And now, it's the one we've all been waiting for. Dim the lights, please! She emits beauty. She exudes grace. She truly has the most putrid. Punchable face. Punchable face! <laughs> yes! That's not how you pronounce it, but it's honestly what, 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 what uh, Moria is thinking. You know who we're talking about. She is all that amazing. She's all that is amazing and wonderful. It's just about to set foot on this very stage. Please, give a big warm welcome to the one, the only, the magnificent, sweet hot. Rip. So, about the political uh, turmoil. Did it. <laughs> oh no, there's a blackout. Now, what do we do? I'm sure Sprout wants to power back on in no time. Help, we don't know what to do! Help, we don't know what to do either! Help! 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 Ah! Let's, let's walk ah! away, we did kill a political leader of theirs. Well, maybe we should just take a look around just in case. How will the show <laughs> go on now? It w I guess the blackout affected all the village. This is where my handyman expertise comes into play. In case ladies, we're probably looking for some kind of backup generator. Thankfully, I know the exact thing to do. Let's go back to white space to stab ourselves. <laughs> no, that's not what you do. <sighs> I don't think stabbing yourselves would do anything unless you're like completely done with the chapter. Oh. Uh, Sorry. You can't get away from it that easily. If only. I don't care much for idol culture here. Christmas is my favorite time of the year, so I have to celebrate Christmas all the time. Christmas 
This is ruined. <laughs> hey, wait, why is the... Oh, wait, that's meant to be a chimney. I was gonna say, why the hell is the, uh, the outside fire? Oh. Favorite. Fall. Autumn leaves. Trumpet falls. It smells sad. Start the time to tell them about Holidays right around the corner. You just gotta love fall. Fall is the best season, don't you agree? Personally, I'm more of a winter man. Alright, it's still winter. Because once you do this, it locks you out of saying yes to the others. Winter is the best season. Indeed. Please have this gift. Scarf. Hmm. See, they've tossed your favorite way to winter. You'll receive no gifts from me. Pretty sure Scarf would be... Defense. Hmm. Yeah. There's someone who... Actually, no. It's... Oh, yeah. That's a main job. Yes. Grant. Rosa. Oh, that... The number one sweetheart. It's that one we fought in. The, the one we killed. Yeah. Where are we? In this? We have six keys. In a lost pyre of flame. Lion of Dark Cell. Trapped in a pink cage. So... Yeah, these would be around in this area. It almost feels like we missed some. Um... I would know. Pick up the pace, boys! We must make haste! We're trying our best, Warden. This is fast speed to go. It's their use of power. Keep running, Moles. Nothing gets done without a little sweat. Your friends smell warning behind you. The power's back! Hard work pays off. Uh, exercise? That's foreign to me. <laughs> I like our calls going the fastest. Yeah. He's an athlete. <sighs> going up. Back up. That should not have its consequences. Water. Now I have some. That's good. That was. Oh, we didn't pass out if so. <coughs> oh, yeah, I was still missing his pet rock. You said you, you remembered where it was. I do, but it's not in this area. It's in what? It's in an optional area. I'll say that. Mm. Someone, please help me. I'm in need of a handsome young gentleman. You, yes. You there in the striped pants. You magnificent beast. Yes. So oh, oh, you'll do just fine. Huh? Uh. Why? Thank you. I don't know what to say. Please, kind sir, will you help out pull a lonely mole? I'm desperately in need of your service. Well, since you asked so nicely, how can I refuse? Say no. Thank you. Please, come this way now. Chop Wait, you're my friends? Ah, oh, yes, your friends. You all here to see sweetheart. Yes, yes, so you'll all meet again soon enough. Now come, sir, we must make haste. Time is short. Well, she's our new contestant. Yeah, that was obvious. <laughs> Probably the one that's going to win. Well, he's charismatic, and yeah. uh, I get the feeling she's sick and tired of Sprummels. I guess. Greetings, sweetheart fans. We apologize for the short intermission. <sighs> Welcome back to our regularly scheduled program. During this break, we regret to inform you that a tragic accident has occurred right here on this very stage. It is a t this time, we announce a sudden loss of contestant number three. We will remember him fondly for the few seconds we got to know him. He was truly a unique... An irreplaceable soul. So we replaced him. Yeah. With this completely unique and uh, but the show must go irreplaceable, on. Irreplaceable uh, Sprabble. Yes. Kel did it. 
please give a warm welcome to our new contestant number three. Hailing all the way from the vast forest, it's our hero in shiny armor. Get out there. Get this, guys. Here was a real hunt, standing at a whopping five foot seven. Still shorter than me. His passions include baking. Well, it's meant to be like fifteen. Yeah. <laughs> and that doesn't sound like a perfect man. Check out his killer smile and mild personality. <laughs> I have a girlfriend, you know. And now, once again, it's time to introduce the star of the show. Dim the lights, please. But what would what would Mari think of this? She admits beauty. Imagine if a hero gets struck by lightning. <laughs> Yeah, it was Mari's fault. Yes, you know who we're talking about. She is. I all mean, the one, <laughs> the magnificent. Yes. Huh? Oh God, the Ocho laughed. Shit's literally getting out of the text box. That's how loud it is. An excellent entrance, Candy. They they made they made official sweetheart body pillows, and it sold out within like minutes. Sounds about right. Okay. Ah, yes! It is me! Hello, my stupid adoring fans! You know me, sweetheart? Yeah, you're the best! <laughs> sweetheart, we have brought three of the best bachelors in the world onto this stage. I'm okay. gonna look up this fucking... Like, you've told me about this, now I, now I can't not look it up. Oh, I <laughs> Careful. Let's start with some questions. One thing that Sweetheart values most in Japan is complete and absolute obedience. Do you, contestant number one, agree the pledger leaves the Sweetheart for the rest of your life? Contestant number one, what is your answer? Uh, sure. I don't know, I guess. Playing hard to get, I see. What do you think about that response, Sweetheart? Hmm, just three feet tall? My, that is much too short. Did you find it? Yeah, I found it all right. Why does she have a hole in her chest? Well, not chest, but like... Stomach? Yeah. Um, I'm not sure. That's just how she is. So all I can think of while looking at this is... I get the feeling the, the inspiration came not, not only from that shopkeep, mm. but also what he's been looking up. Donuts. <laughs> Is that just about Sunny? Yeah. <laughs> Send him off to the dungeon! Hey, hey, what'd you say? The dungeon? Why'd they put it into, like, this fancy-ass room, too? Why not? There goes contestant number one. Help me! Outside of that, I can see why, uh, why she'd have fans, except for, like, you know, the personality, but that's that's for the people that like Ojo's anyways. There's no... We ask you the same question. There's no right or wrong answer. Just answer truthfully. Contestant number two. Will you pledge your allegiance to Sweetheart for the rest of your life? Well, uh, sure. Which means I won't consent to the dungeon. My word, this one. This very being offends me. Take him away, boys! <laughs> Made a run for it. <laughs> Rip. Contestant number three, looks like you're the last one standing. I'll ask the same question one more time. Again, no pressure at all. Do you, hero, are you ready to pledge your allegiance to sweetheart for the rest of your life? Well, no, that doesn't seem fair at all. Why would I do that? My. This one. He's absolutely immaculate. Could it be? Is Sweetheart in love? What an exciting turn of events! This must be fate! A match made in heaven! W wait, what I just said. Ah, yes, yes, you'll, you'll do just fine! Now, what was your name again? Huh? It's, uh, it's Hero, man. Hero! My hero! We must go to my chambers at once! She wants to fuck him. <laughs> what would Mari think? <laughs> Guards, I have chosen my suitor! Take him away! Uh... Guys, please, do something! See ya! Whoa, <laughs> hero's gonna marry sweetheart? I didn't see that one coming at all. What are you saying? We have to help him. What do you want me to do about it? I can't- I don't want to go to the dungeon. <laughs> no, you're so useless. I learned that's Hero! You have to reject Sweetheart. Princess awaits. Uh, I don't think she's gonna listen to me. Just do it! Okay, I'll try. Excuse me. You have a mild personality. Are you gonna actually be able to do it? I am. 
I guess my lovely hero. How are you? You're in for the sound of your sweet voice. Sing. Again, uh, she blatantly wants to fuck him. I mean... What do I have to do this? Again, look at him, he has a mop or something. Can he actually pull it off? I'm sorry, sweetheart, but I'm not interested. Whatever you mean, my prince. I, uh... This is all really flattering all, but you know, we only just met like a few moments ago, and... Well... I have to reject your, um... Offer? Oh, pish posh! Don't be so silly, hero! I've never heard anything sillier. It's true. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but... I don't want to marry you. <laughs> this? This is preposterous! No. This? This is blasphemy! You dare reject sweetheart! Everyone loves sweetheart! You hear me? Everyone! Send him off to the dungeon! Bye, hero! Hey, stop right there! You can't take care of belongs to us! What's this now? What is a non-sweetheart fan doing in the audience? Ah, I see. You must be heroes fans! The nerve you lot. First you make a fool out of me, then you interrupt me during my own show! I'm the one who makes the rules around here! Guards! Take them away! Now you've done it, Aubrey. It's Kel's fault. <laughs> oh man, now we're all stuck in the dungeon. Sorry guys, it's my fault that we're in this mess. No, it's not, Hero. It kind of is, he, he accepted, like... Yeah. <laughs> you fools, don't you recognize me? It's me, Rosa! Number one sweetheart fan in the world! I told you that you'd pay I'll pay for crossing me! So she was the murderer! Persis, we've all been bamboozled. I should have known you were behind this. It's true what they say, revenge is sweet! We should have killed her! <laughs> no, right, you're beyond me. Damn it. I really didn't get out of here. Find a way. Come on, you guys, let's. Where do we even start? It's not like they just leave the gate unlocked, would they? They're idiots. Let's push it. I think it's meant, it's meant to be spelled like Harold, but it's spelled like Harold. Yeah. Oof. Now I kind of wish that the other knights are named actual, like they're actual people. If there's at least one of them in this, and it's really funny. Because it'd be funny to me if like, it, it, like the name makes it seem like it's meant to be like, they're all called Harold, but it's mis misspelled. Yeah. But it'd be real funny if, like, it turns out they're all, like, named their actual names. Yeah. You get the feeling it's not gonna be that, because you just said that it isn't. Yeah. There's at least one knight with a different name that I know of. Ugh. Ooh, I have worn out my throat. I think. Team Spirit. Oh yeah, we got some. Oh, yeah, that's... Lucky Slice will act first and attack that stronger when more is happy. And it will stack. Make Aubrey and the friend happy. That's just basically better than that. Because it affects both. Hey, Cal. Honestly, it makes a lot of sense that, uh... Like... Tofu seemingly re heals so little, right? Yeah. And Ramen is constantly found in, the, in, in like, toilets. Yeah. Because let's be honest here, that probably is all what Sunny has to eat. Mm. And he probably gets sick and tired of it. Yeah. Especially what with how uh, absent his mom seems to be. Yeah. And his dad is basically non-existent. And you know, he's a hickey. He's a, that's the kind of shit that they eat. Hero, I have a question for you. 
Was there any chance in the world that you would have said yes to Marion Sweetheart? <laughs> she looks like she's about to murder him, too. What? No way. <laughs> you know I only have eyes for you, Mari. Ew. <laughs> Ew is right, Kel. Hero, that's not what I like about you at all. It's not? Then what is it? <laughs> I can't tell you that, silly. It would ruin the magic. Okay. I don't really get it. But whatever you say... Mari, you don't have to worry about Sweetheart at all. Sweetheart is the worst. I can't imagine anyone being in love with her. Wasn't she with Captain Spaceboy, though? Hmm. Relationships are like that are just shallow. You can't compare it to the real deal. Like what me and Amori have. Isn't that right, Amori? <laughs> Amori? Man's asleep. <laughs> he doesn't talk. It's pickles. Again, I really wonder how Sunny would feel about the real world of Aubrey. Well, considering how, what we've all been implying, and let's be honest here, more often than not, we just kind of... But I don't like just, pickles. We, we kind of just go ahead and and say that our jokes are, like, what's actually happening. I mean, Kel is... Kel has masterminded every political assassination. Ah. And it's certainly not Amori. Who is definitely not secretly Diabolo. And also... Sonny is resisting the urge to... Uh, <laughs> to ask Aubrey to step on her, him. I was gonna say, also, that does not mean that Sonny, uh, that Sonny is secretly not Dopio. If you know, you know. Mm. And if you don't, uh, I guess I'll explain. Basically, uh, King's Crimson activates, and I can't say it. <laughs> Let's just say that, um... Split personalities mm -hmm. that physically alter the, the appearance uh, of the body. I don't know if that's actually accurate. I'm making a joke. Mm. Oh no, what are we gonna do? No one ever escapes a dungeon. Who's in the dungeon? Me. I was gonna say the fucking skeleton. Yeah. For, well, and the keys did say beneath the trap door, so I. I think the G key is somewhere down here. And that's a teleporter. Let me see what that one has to offer. Huzzah! I finally almost made my save. All you need to do is find the exit. Well, you're useless now. Just... Nobody ever escapes the dungeon. Shut the fuck up. Maybe you should explore a little bit more. Yeah, this is what we're gonna do. So now we have access to this. Kill <laughs> hmm. things up there. Well, the thing is, I'm gonna be honest here. I I think it's perfectly like it, it's it's perfectly reasonable for so, for someone who is kind of implied to be a bit of a porn addict to oh. look at right look there. at someone like her and immediately like be attracted again. <laughs> there is a key right there. And also, it feels like a lot of the hints uh, for the whole Sunny Aubrey thing were a lot more subtle. Before the ri the visit to the outside world, <laughs> it it feels a lot more bladed now. Almost like uh, that was an incorrect key. Almost like see like seeing uh, how Aubrey is now has awoken something in him again. <laughs> Horny is a powerful beast. I just came here just to remind myself of what was here, but I I forgot there was a key up here. Are you? Harold. You I got the feeling the unique one is the uh, the one with the axe. It's a different color from what I remember. Mori feels happy. I think we've only seen the higher tiers for Andrea Mori, from what I remember. Um, 
So since this powers up with that. Feels ecstatic. Man, it looks like a yandere. Ooh. Killed your little town, Luke. Curveball. What curveball do? Let's check that out. Um. Get the feeling that's more like rebound. Oh, run and gun is a really good skill because that, like, affects something. Major foe deal or rip. Makes a little random emotion, deals extra damage to you. I'll leave that out. Run and Gun ties into his strategy. Called mm. the Kel Nuke, which can lead to do like. Bunch of damage. 7,000 damage on. Hey, there's another one. I wonder why there's so many human like bodies in the dungeon. Hmm. Well, on the, on the alternate, the shut in route, if you go here. I'll just straight up say it, because we're not going to encounter it. Yeah. Um, on the shut-in route, which is, is unofficially called the Hikikomori route. Yep. And the route we're doing is called the Sunny route, by fans. Um, so, Mori is definitely meant to be short for Hikikomori. Yep. Again, this is an unofficial title, but... Um, like, in this area, there's a bonus room where there's a bunch of human-like skeletons, and one in four of them has a bow attached to them. So... Oof. Rip Bozo. So, yeah. So, basically, you'll have to fight the corpses of your of you and your friends. Yeah. Well, you don't fight them, but, like, you witness... Pa pa past iterations just fight to me. Like... Oh, because... Yeah. Sonny's been stuck in their own head for ages now, so yeah. of course... And he uses it as a form to escape, and it implies... It's implied. That he's been doing this entire storyline for ages now. Yeah, if it's implied that he's gonna find out uh, that Mari's dead, then he, then a higher being resets his he headspace. Presumably the higher being just being his determination to not accept reality. Yeah. Forget which way. Ooh, money. I'll go down first. Plans. Huh, About a hundred clams. More. Hmm. These all clams? Nice. Only all of them were like that. Well, all except for literally one. Uh. Look, there. We're finally at the exit. Let's get out of here. I never want to see another sprout mold again in my life. Oh, uh, here, if only it was that simple. <laughs> Did she literally set it up so that if you can escape the dungeon? Uh, For a moment, I thought it was meant to be like a, we a wedding ceremony, to be honest. Mm. Nah, it's all about herself. The dungeon. Halt! Prisoners! Did you really think you escaped that easily? It's back to the dungeon for you four. Darn, you're so close. Thank you, Kira. I get it. Remember when we killed those sprout moles with those tickets? They dropped sprout mole masks. We got the sprout mole mask from the sprout eater. Oh, yeah. So now we're wearing literally the faces of corpses. Delicious sweetheart, I mean tofu. He got my eyes just to deceive me. I apologize, <laughs> brethren. 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 It's rather hard to see through this helmet. Very well, carry on then. We really have to keep wearing these hero. Mine's getting kind of itchy. We should keep them until we get out of here. Come on, let's move. First, I want to see what was up. You just want to extend the amount of time with the sprout mole masks. I don't know. Wait. Oh, no. I was going to say there's a... Tra there's a... Trap door there, but like... So like, I want to make sure I don't miss any keys that are here, because I don't want to have to go back. The gate won't budge. 
Oh, luckily this problem mask keeps them from realizing. The miss, the mixtape. Yeah. And the fact that the sorry thing. This is basically where she dumped all of her shit from her relationship. Yeah. Turn that off. You can see why he doesn't care for her. <laughs> what kind of? Uh, budget. This is where we started. I'm pretty sure. Well, technically, the next room over was where we started, but yeah. We were here. Do we? We did. Now there's only like the bottom floor to check. Yeah. I feel like there's more down there that we didn't. Uh, Marsha. I haven't seen Real World Hero yet. And since Real World takes place four years after these pictures, he would be 19. Did we settle on... Because they said three or four years. Did four we, years. Did we, it's it stated to be four. No, like, Aubrey states it to be three or four years. Uh, well, later on, it's become so apparent it's been four years. Uh. So. Something up here? No, that was here. There are nothing downstairs? Nope. So we gotta go to the castle. I don't think those things respond to me. I mean, did he check? I'll, I'll check one that I know gave money. If not, I'll just... Hmm, I do. Free money. N not the exact same amounts, but yeah. free money. This is probably a, a, a semi-decent way to just grind, grind money. for money. Yeah. I've seen people doing this. You have seen? I, I said I could see people doing this. Mm. No, I have. Um, okay. So, the enemies won't go after you, but if you, like, run into them, they, uh, they will attack. So just avoid them for now. I remember, I remember this map being confusing to navigate. Uh... Well, this is awkward. I felt like we were supposed to go down to the chambers. Why are there so many in here? Now it just shows Aubrey and Amori alone. Presumably because the yeah, they're just balls together like that. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> Would you like to sleep here with your friends? Phrasing! And he did it. And you also did a weapon for Aubrey. Body pillow. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, funny. Slightly lower luck, but overall... Higher stats, so mm. I'll take it. Mm. A pearl. And a diary, there's right there. Really? Is the pearl a, it's a generic charm or can like health throw it? Pocket? Either be under important or. Toys? Can be sold for clams. See? Diary. Right. Noticeable, no, notable that she's kept the. Uh, by sweetheart. The statue of ah, ex boyfriend. A day. And a day it was. Such a lovely day. That's a poem. That was stupid. Oh, the pages are glued shut. Hmm. Also, I. <laughs> I also want. 
Have I brought up the Orange Joe story in here? You brought up how it was orange juice oh, mixed yeah. with coffee. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I did. Because, like... <laughs> I'm tempted... To, I don't like coffee or orange juice, but I'm tempted to try it just to see... Just to get the experience. <laughs> Sweetheart ordered me to move the statue out of her bedroom before she returns, but I can't get it to move at all. If only this thing was suddenly conveniently smashing the itty bitty pieces. Well, ma'am, what it sounds like to me is that your niece is instruction. And Aubrey here happens to be an instruction specialist. <laughs> oh. Aubrey? That was a very strange thing first brought. Well, then Darden's sweetheart has been writing out a new dance game for this of late. Wait, Kel. Isn't that a statue of Kevin Spaceboy? I would feel bad destroying him. It's not like he's ever gonna know. Kevin Spaceboy and Sweetheart are things of the past. Live and let live, that's why I always say. You don't always say that. But fine. Let me get this Hit it from behind. Okay. Oh, whoops. Did she even hit it? Yeah. Uh. Time to clean this up. You're real lifesavers. I should have known just to leave this task to the specialist. So much easier, huh? So much, huh? Well, I mean, the space play was made of ice. Well, this is a surprise. Turns out all I had to do was lift it from the bottom. <laughs> Pink process. Strawberry cake that smells like rosemary. Let's take a bite. Uh. Item? Jam packets. Revives all friends that are toast. Ah, oh, to be used for those. Yeah. Emergencies only. And Amori cannot become toast no matter what. If he's down, game over. Yeah. Like Persona! Popcorn, fries. Seems to me like pizza. we're about to encounter a bottle. A painting of Captain Space Boy with his fruit juice splashed over it. Teapot. Here we'll learn tea time. Whatever that is. Heal some of a friend's heart and juice. So basically a better version of Cook. Yeah. Basically. Well, that's all from this room. Ah, most grapples are gone. The foyer. The foyer. Foyer. Eyes are red. Yeah. I also recorded my. I butcher a lot of words. Like I recorded my Star Wars essays as voiceovers, and then I didn't learn until after that I butchered Ewan McGregor's McGra McGra name. To be fair, uh, to be fair, a lot of people don't say foyer the way it's meant to be said. Uh, oh no. <laughs> <Me too. laughs> Stop, imposters! I know what you are, and you are not sprout moles. You must be wondering how I will tell. You see, I am above those feeble and inexperienced heralds and marshes. I am Sir Maximus, and with my impressive lineage, I will be victorious and bring honor to my family. You're about to die. Yeah, this was the one. The one what? The one that is different. Huh. This is like one of the funniest bits in, in this game. Um, actually... Unfortunately, if you'd use Team Spirit right now, it's not going to uh, make uh, Amori happy enough for his attack because Amori is faster. That is true. Let's use it on the Run and gun. Kel is not based on speed and that is attack. And people make Kel like second tier happy because happy increases speed. Ah. So. I think I'll flex him. I mean, I it's think. It's called the Aubrey is like the second to slowest. Yeah, it's called the Tell New strategy. Slow but strong hitter. Tell <laughs> feels happy. Oh no. Pretty sure happy counters that. No, happy counters anger, remember? Hmm. Does? 
He has a real good thing that I say with this. Happy counters, Andrew. Mm. Sa oh, sad counters happy, yeah. Mm. Well, the hero does have a skill that could remove emotion. So. Let's do another Team Spiro. Um, or not much. Kel and I'll reveal a static. So Maximus pumps down. Kel's gonna flex. <coughs> Reduce the attack. <laughs> that exact face plays even when he's feeling the sad emotion, and people have taken that too. No, I, I cannot fail now. My son needs me. Son, huh? Time to run and gun. <laughs> right. <laughs> that is the telling of strip. The ultimate attack. Oh, I was gonna say we all live, but true, that's not the case. <clears throat> Rest up here, Cal's little uh, uh, Cal. <laughs> They found out about the political assassination. Yeah. Should probably go. Uh, where's where's that whole pizza? Yeah. Oh. You, you why did you use all all of it? We only have one whole pizza. You had popcorn though. Well, I'm stupid. What the self? Learn. Also, you just used uh, two items to heal two of your party members. I did. And now I realize how stupid of a move that was, and now I'm reconsidering my life choices. <laughs> Oh, yes! <laughs> I love this scene! The cockroach? The cockroach? There's a cockroach in there. Bat can't take it. I announced my retirement. But wait, Chef, without you, who is our task of most magnificent cake in my event? So, Chefs. Sue Chef. Sue Chefs is now time for one of you to step up to the limelight. Left my water bottle. Oh, yes, I hear you, Chief. At most people, one of us, I'll volunteer to take our chat. Won't fail you, I promise. <sighs> You, you four are sous chefs now. Meet me in the kitchen, pronto. It took you so long. Step on it, will you? I can't leave this room until you pick the best kitchen in existence. Are you ready to start baking? Just follow my instructions and you'll be fine. I remember the head chef's recipe to my heart. Totally. Hey, don't be nervous. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. First, we must preheat the oven to 75 degrees. Already a mistake. <laughs> Which is. Pretty sure it's room temperature. Excellent work. Next thing to do is miss two, mis two, two ingredients in the bowl. Flowers and ping pong balls. Are we actually following step by step? Yeah. Why is there a cockroach? Please don't tell anyone I'm here. I just like digging in the pantry. I mean, who doesn't? Flowers, huh? No, no, they, they want a flower. Well. Like, flowers. Yeah. And ping pong balls. Are you sure? Yeah. 
You're doing great. Next comes the salt and cheese. Yeah, beat those two together until it's soup. Salt. I'm just gonna look away for now because this shit's. <laughs> Now we're cooking. Last but not least, grab the sauce and cut it into pieces. He doesn't know what he's doing. If you didn't tell. Magnificent! Now mix them all together and sit in the microwave. It's that easy. The mixture is the only one that's right. Yeah. Ding. You baked the cake. What the heck did you put in there? Ah, oh, well done. Beautiful work, I must say. Let's have a taste. You're to die. <laughs> he actually does die. <laughs> A good man. Maybe he should. Another death at the hands of Kel. <laughs> good riddance. That guy was such a drag. Now, are you ready to actually break this cake? First thing, preheat the oven at 350 degrees. So, basically, he's the one that's actually correct. Yeah. Now, mix some flour and eggs together. The eggs are on the other side. Kel learned juice me. I can't pull up the menu right now. Um, are you sure? Comes a sugar and butter. Eat it till it's nice and fluffy. Oh, Kinda okay. want this guy to actually get, uh, actually succeed because he actually knows what the fuck he's doing. So I did get the, this one right the first time. Now, finally, for the topping. It's just gotta be strawberries. Strawberries are at the very end, yeah. This team's about to press and bake the cake for a fucking idol. Put it in a baking pan. Why is there a whole turkey or a chicken? Wow, that's pretty good. And that's how you bake a cake. I'll do it. Cake, our late head chef will be proud of it. Amazing. Remember, you live on forever. You might go now. Frying pan. Okay. We'll make this frying pan into a drying pan. Oh, yeah. It is a coconut for cattle. Does decrease his luck, but. It increases his juice dramatically. A lot. Yeah, so. I'll take that. Um, cattle's gonna be a cat. cat boy. Frying pan. <coughs> mm. Ooh, teapot does increase juice, but frying pan increases water. So. I'll take the longevity over. Um, you should look at those skills you gained. Oh, uh, yeah. Kel got. Juice me. He was a lot of juice to a friend, but also hurts the friend, so. Um, I think we already included two times. Yeah. Good. Memoria or Aubrey doing anything? Nope. Did Aubrey? Nope. Twirl. The taxophone becomes happy. We have Team Spirit, which already puts happy on two allies. Oh, Mari. It smells like dirty laundry. Noxious. 
I don't know how Mario feels about this room. It's full of sweet strawberries. No. Alright. There sure are a lot of sprout moles here, and they all sure love Sweetheart. I tried offering one food order, but she told me a pee on and threw back at me. Sprout ones are those particular creatures, aren't they? You always took care of your hair. And real world Aubrey dyed her hair. Well, I think this is a good place to end off for now. I'd say so, if only just because I kind of want to go to the, uh, take to the bathroom. Yeah, I also want to grab a snack, so... See you next time for... This. This. Uneven buddies. Obnoxious. Yes.